Hi there, my name is Dan Williams and I would like to share with you three tips to help improve your people or snapshot photography. Now I learned this in the 1990s when I was a cruise ship photographer with Holland America Cruise Lines, but these skills apply to any type of photography as well. But I'd like to pass them on to you because we're getting into that season where you're going to want to do barbecues or family dinners or family gatherings. And capturing those memories is really, really important and capturing them well is also equally important. So let's get to those three tips. Now, my first photo tip may seem simple, but it's actually going to help you out a lot. And that is get closer, fill the frame. When we take pictures, we have a tendency to take pictures. Our human eye concentrates on what we see directly in the middle of the frame. And when we take the picture, the camera doesn't see exactly the same thing. Right now, while I'm making this video, I'm looking directly into the camera lens. But if I was to take my cell phone and just take a picture just of what I see, I get this as a result. As you can see, I'm getting the camera plus I'm getting all this extraneous stuff. My eye focuses on this, doesn't really see this. So how can I improve that? Well, there's two ways of doing that. One, I can move closer, which may work, but not in this particular case. But also, what I can do is I can actually zoom and fill my frame and get this kind of result here. Try this with people. If you have people sitting together, try getting in close to the people. Try zooming if you can zoom, but try getting in close as well. You'll find it will improve your pictures and it's a nicer looking, more intimate setting for your subject. Our second photo tip is to remember to use good composition. And I'm going to refer particularly to the rule of thirds. That's where you imagine that your camera frame is divided up into thirds as if there are two imaginary lines roughly about here and two more roughly here that run over this side of the camera. When you're shooting something, you want to put your compositional elements or whatever your subject is where those lines are or where they dissect. Especially when you're dealing with two people, you want them kind of on that space. And the reason is because you create a balanced, comfortable looking photo. Now, as you can see, I'm in the center. When you're doing a single shot, you always put the person kind of in the center if they're looking straight ahead. But you can see that my eye is roughly a third of the way down the frame, which shows good composition. So remember tip number two, use the rule of thirds. In modern technology, you can actually turn on a grid on your cell phone or on your DSLR camera or any other kind of camera so that you've got this to look at whenever you're taking a picture, you've got your grid up and you can line up your elements to make your best, strongest, most comfortable looking photograph. Remember rule number two, use the rule of thirds, good composition. My third tip to offer to you is to crouch down a little bit when you're doing shots. Now we discovered this when I was doing portraits on Holland America ships and we discovered that when we shot straight ahead um, the distortion of the lens meant that the person's upper part or upper torso would look slightly larger than the feet almost like they're leaning a little bit. And what we did discover was that when we lowered a little bit and then reframed and shot, the person looked straight up and down. And I've seen that happen on cell phones as well. So try it. If you're taking pictures of your friends, um, take your cell phone and, in, and, and, and instead of just going straight up like this, come down a little bit and then reframe. You might find the results look a little better. These lenses on smartphones and cell phones have a tendency to be a little unforgiving for that kind of stuff. You can try the same thing with your DSLR. Now, here's another part of that tip that I'm going to add to it. When you're taking pictures of animals or children or people sitting down, get right down to their eye level. Those are going to be much better, much better snapshots, more intimate pictures if you're right down in front of them and you're not shooting up and down. So remember, crouch a little bit to get rid of that distortion and for animals and kids and people sitting, get right down and shoot at their eye level. Your photos are going to look much, much better. Here's my bonus tip to add. It sort of comes off of the last tip about getting down a little bit, getting onto eye level. If you're doing group shots, you're going to want to change that and you're going to want to get up higher 
and get to a higher elevation to shoot down on your group. Now, I shot a fair amount of groups when I was on a cruise ship, and the biggest group I ever shot was 150 people. And we organized them on the main ballroom floor in one of the main ballrooms. And then I went up on the balcony and I shot down. But of course, you get everybody to look up. And if you could see their faces, then you could see them and you get a great shot. I shot about four or five to make sure there was no blinkers and make sure everybody was actually looking straight at the camera. The next group I did, eh, might have been several weeks later, I can't remember. But they wanted to get a shot on the top deck of the ship as we were sailing in Alaska. Well, I didn't have a balcony. So some people sat, some people crouched, other people stood. But I stood on a deck chair and again got everybody arranged so that I could see their faces. And if I could see their faces, then they could see me and the shot came out really good. So my bonus tip for you folks is if you're doing group shots, get up on a higher position and shoot down a bit. Organize, make sure you can see their faces. If they can see your camera and you can see their faces, you're gonna get a great shot. Take a half a dozen, take three or four. Make sure you check your frame afterwards and make sure you've got everybody looking, nobody blinking, nobody distracted. And uh, take the time to do those shots and they're gonna look fantastic. Okay, let's recap briefly those three tips. Tip number one, get closer to your subject and fill the frame. Intimate photos happen when you move closer to your subject and fill the frame. Number two, don't forget to use the rule of thirds and good composition. Put the grid up on your camera or your cell phone so you have that guide when you're taking those pictures. Number three, crouch down slightly when you're taking pictures of people standing up. When you're dealing with people sitting down or small kids or animals, you want to get right down on their eye level and shoot that way. And my bonus tip for you folks was when you're doing group shots, you want to elevate yourself above the group. And in that case, you want to organize them and make sure they can see you because if they can see you and you can see them, you're going to have a great looking photo. I want to thank the region of Queens and Queens Place for this opportunity to produce this video for you folks. Go out, practice, have fun, and enjoy your photography. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again the next time.